What if everything we thought we knew about space, time, and the fabric of reality was wrong? What if the most powerful telescope in human history just cracked open a doorway we were never meant to find? For years, the James Webb Space Telescope has stunned the world with breathtaking images of the early universe. But its most recent data doesn't just reveal galaxies, it reveals something deeper, stranger something hiding in plain sight, a glitch in the universe's code, or worse, a window into dimensions we've only dreamed of in theory. Scientists from a quantum lab, alongside theoretical physicists and astrophysicists, have uncovered signals in the data that shouldn't exist. Light patterns that break classical models. Repeating frequencies that echo through space like a silent, multidimensional heartbeat. And what they found may not only rewrite the textbooks, it may rewrite reality itself. It began with a simple scan of the Bell 2744, a well known galaxy cluster already famous for gravitational lensing. But as the Webb telescope processed the light streaming from this distant region, something stood out behaving in ways it shouldn't. Faint distortions shimmering at the very edge of detectability defied all classical expectations. Patterns of diffraction and interference were mapped, and instead of chaos, the team found order, a mathematical regularity hidden beneath cosmic randomness. These patterns weren't caused by gravity, gas, or galactic movement. They were too clean, too symmetrical, the scientists thought it was. A glitch, but when the same anomalies appeared across multiple fields of observation, the narrative changed. Something was weaving threads of light between galaxies, something intentional, something structured, unable to explain the data through traditional physics. Researchers turned to an experimental partnership with quantum AI. By running the web data through quantum-optimized algorithms, they hoped to detect patterns to settle for classical computation. What they found chilled them, the anomalies weren't just consistent. They echoed mathematical structures predicted by string theory patterns corresponding to extra dimensions, spaces curled tightly beyond human perception. Using qubits capable of processing overlapping realities, the algorithms detected frequencies that matched predictions of 10 or even 11-dimensional models. It was as if the telescope had not only seen light, it had seen the shadow of something casting light from a higher realm. Suddenly, theories once considered unprovable began to whisper back in numbers and geometry. It was no longer speculation. It was empirical suggestion. Lisa Randall from Harvard added a critical insight. What if some of these hidden dimensions are not closed? What if under certain cosmic conditions, the veil becomes thin enough to leak? The idea that gravity is weaker because it bleeds into other dimensions now had observable support, the webs. Distorted data wasn't just a curiosity, it might be proof that reality is layered in. We finally peeled back the first sheet. The light traveling from galaxies billions of years old wasn't moving through empty space. It was moving through folds, and in those folds, something was refracting it, twisting it not randomly, but with symmetry. A cosmic fingerprint. What if the universe is not just expanding, but resonating? And what if we're the only species that has just now become capable of hearing that resonance? Here's the most unsettling part. These aren't just cosmic curiosities. If string theory is right, then you, your body, your thoughts, your voice are all made of vibrating threads of energy woven across multiple dimensions. The frequencies web and quantum AI detected aren't alien, they're you, they're the hum. Of the multiverse inside your bones, quantum AI found structural echoes of string harmonics not only across space, but within the variations of cosmic background light. It was like listening to an orchestra from a distance and realizing one of the instruments was playing your own note. The implications are staggering. Your consciousness, your choices, might ripple into hidden layers of spacetime. And if those ripples return, would you recognize them? For decades, scientists have relied on the cosmological constant to explain the universe's accelerated expansion. It was the mathematical patch Einstein's biggest blunder turned into a cornerstone of modern cosmology. But Webb's latest readings from deep field images showed irregularities in the redshift of distant galaxies too fast, too inconsistent, 
to chaotic to fit the existing models. In other words, the expansion of the universe isn't just speeding up, it's behaving like a living system fluctuating, surging, pausing. Some physicists now propose that what we call dark energy isn't a force, but a signal. A hidden pattern of movement that reacts maybe even responds to observational pressure. What if by observing the edge of the universe with the James Webb, we're not just measuring it, but interacting with it? For years, dark matter has haunted astrophysics a ghost that holds galaxies together without ever showing its face. But Webb spectrographic imaging pierced through galactic halos with more precision than any tool before it, and what it found didn't match expectations in several clusters the mass was just missing. Gravity didn't behave as predicted, but instead of confirming dark matter, the data suggested something more radical, gravity itself might be shifting across. Dimensions! The force we call gravity could be leaking bleeding into hidden layers that Webb's eyes were not meant to see, but somehow accidentally did. It's not that dark matter doesn't exist. It's that it might exist elsewhere, just beyond our veil. A force we thought was universal may only be a shadow of what holds everything together, and then came the image that wasn't meant to be seen. A routine deep skin near the Eridanus Supervoy Dan, unusually cold, empty region of the cosmic microwave background revealed an object. Not a galaxy, not a star, not even a black hole. Just structure, isolated, geometric, to symmetrical to be natural. It cast no shadow, emitted no light of its own, and yet distorted every wavelength passing through it. Internal memos leaked from the European Space Agency referred to it only as the anomaly. Attempts to scrub the data failed. A handful of independent researchers downloaded it before it was locked away. And according to them, what Webb captured looks eerily like a frame ring. A construct, possibly a lens or possibly a doorway. And the most disturbing part, it wasn't there in previous scans. Finally, the most controversial act of all, the theoretical papers that no journal dared publish. Drafts circulating in encrypted academic circles proposed that consciousness itself may be part of the fabric of the cosmos. Webb's detection of repeating quantum harmonics coupled with AI interpretation of overlapping dimensional frequencies, raised one unthinkable possibility that observation isn't passive. That the universe wants to be watched, that the moment we reach the necessary technological threshold, the cosmos shifted as if waking up. Some call it the observer principle. Others call it something older, but one thing is clear. These final images from James Webb aren't just showing us the Past, they're showing us to ourselves, from the outside in. As if something or someone is watching the watchers, the James Webb Space Telescope was built to look deeper into space than any human instrument before it. But what no one expected was that by doing so, we'd also be peering into something. That wasn't just ancient but aware. With every image, every spectrum, every vibration, Webb wasn't simply capturing light. It was unveiling structure, intent, pattern, reflection. What if the universe isn't an object but a process? What if reality is not built for us to understand but to respond when we try? From collapsing constants to invisible dimensions, from shifting gravitational laws to geometry that doesn't belong, Webb didn't just observe anomalies that triggered them. It may have crossed the final threshold in observational science, revealing that the universe isn't indifferent its reactive, maybe even interactive dot, and perhaps the greatest truth of all isn't that we've broken science. It's that science finally broke us our pride, our certainty, our illusion of control. Because in our pursuit to know everything, we may have just shown the cosmos that we're ready to be known.